This story is about a Russian hacker that caused more than $165 million worth of damage by stealing identities. When captured, investigators found 1.7 million credit card numbers on his laptop. The password to that laptop was butthole123. This story is about Roman Seleznev. Who is Roman? Roman is a Russian hacker who was born in 1984. He wasn't broke. He had traveled regularly and had homes in many countries across the world. Between 2011 and 2014, multiple attempts to capture him was unsuccessful. In 2002, a hacker with a tag name NCUX started showing up in online forums like Carter Planet and sites known for illegal activities. In 2005, NCUX began to understand how valuable the sale of credit card information could be. Because of his activities, the Secret Service Cyber Intelligence Division took notice and started paying attention to the moves he was making. They started collecting information on this hacker and by 2009, they had developed a profile and a ton of information on NCUX and came to an understanding of his true identity. He could be a man named Roman Seleznev. Roman was involved in stealing full identities. To be clear, not just credit card information, but full identities, meaning names, addresses, date of birth, social security numbers, etc. Americans shared their intelligence with Russian officials and NCUX completely disappeared off the internet. That's probably due to the fact that his father, Valery Seleznev, was a Russian legislator who was a member of the Russian parliament. Before disappearing, he made a post telling everyone that he is going out of business and is retiring. That of course wasn't true. He simply started doing the same thing, but under a different name. Between 2009 and 2012, he used the name Track 2 and Bulba. And in May 2010, a new investigation started for the name Track 2. Approximately at the same time, an investigator started investigating an issue at a Slotsky's deli in Idaho. He learned that the computer in the deli is sending messages to an IP address that is located in Russia. A month later, multiple credit card numbers that traced back to that specific deli was found on a computer in Idaho. Investigators noticed that the computer in Idaho had been chatting with someone that owns the web domain names Track2 and Bulba. In October 2010, another cyber intrusion was discovered at a restaurant named Broadway Grill. A spike in fraud of multiple identities were traced back to the people who made a credit card purchase at the Broadway Grill. It was noticed that Broadway Grill stored 32,000 credit card numbers in plain text, meaning anyone could read it. No security was applied to keep customer information safe. Those 32,000 credit card numbers were then sent out to the same IP address the investigators had seen on the computer at the Slotsky's Deli. After further investigation, it was noticed that whomever planted the malware did it manually and enabled the computers to talk to a Russian IP address. Investigators were able to locate a server in Virginia that was processing information relating to IP addresses that belonged to hundreds of restaurants. The only thing all these restaurants had in common was the billing systems they used to process the credit card transactions. Authorities found 400,000 credit card numbers just on one server. He used this information to literally build his own illegal credit card store. Roman owned a website that allowed members to search for the type of credit card information they wanted to buy. They could add the card numbers they wished to purchase to their shopping cart and click the checkout button. They would then download the credit card information and use that information illegally. The big break came when Roman used his real name and identity for web services he used to do illegal activities, such as his PayPal account. The home address used in these accounts traced back to his real home address that also matched the address on his legitimate passport. He 
he also bought flowers for his wife with her real name using the same account that was used for illegal activities. Those flowers were sent to the address where his wife and child lived. Roman would also browse the internet using these servers. He would make travel plans which showed dates, times and locations. Since he purchased an international plane ticket, on that ticket there was his first and last name and the passport number assigned to that name. This information was vital and it was used to further confirm his true identity. With all the carefully collected information, in March 2011, official obtained an indictment charging him with multiple crimes. On April 28, 2011, there was a bombing at a cafe in Morocco. 17 people died and many more were injured. Roman just happened to be at that location on that day having brunch with his wife. He was one of the injured as a portion of his skull was blown off. He was medevaced back to Moscow where he underwent multiple surgeries but stayed in a coma for a few months. Traffic on the illegal sites stopped and the websites finally closed down in January 2012. In 2013, after his recovery, he created a new setup and he called it Tupac. Yes, Tupac. On the new site, his service had an amazing amount of stolen credit cards. He became a boss, as Roman would not only do his own hacking, but started buying credit card numbers from other hackers. On July 1, 2014, investigators received a tip that Roman was on vacation in the Maldives, where his hotel cost $1,400 a night. Wasting no time, four days later, they arrested him. I am not guilty, no. I want to go home in Russia. America doesn't have an extradition agreement with the Maldives, but they made a formal request, which was granted. During his arrest, they took his laptop, passport, and iPhone. To crack his password to his laptop, investigators tried Ochko123, which in English translates to butthole123. Once in, investigators found 1.7 million credit card numbers. He was then hustled to a private jet and flown to America. Roman received the longest sentence in history for a hacker. Since he caused more than $165 million worth of damage, at 32 years old, he was sentenced to 27 years in prison. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe to the channel and click on the next episode from Big City Crime TV.